Hello friends, now let us see the previous year gate questions on solar cells or photovoltaic cells. We have already seen in theoretical sessions, uh, the photovoltaic cell or solar cell is nothing but a photodiode where we illuminate the junction and the terminals of the diode are kept open circuited. The only difference between photodiode and solar cell is basically the area of the junction, area of exposure to the light is kept larger in case of solar cell and its uh, uh, spectrum is comparatively wide as compared to a photodiode. Otherwise, it is a PN junction diode like photodiode where it is illuminated and kept open terminals are kept open circuited. Now the first question is typical current voltage characteristic of solar cell is given by remember this is the characteristic you just need to recall the characteristic of a solar diode and uh, solar cell and that works on the fourth quadrant of vi characteristic in this region so car d gives you the characteristic fine now let us see the next question in full sunlight a solar cell has a short circuit current of 75 milliamperes and a current of 70 milliamperes for a terminal voltage of 0.6 volt. Terminal voltage is given, current is given, fine. Uh, uh, short circuit current is 75 milliampere and at a voltage of 0.6 volt it is 70 milliampere with a given load. The thevenin resistance of the solar cell is, here remember uh, you need to have uh, recall the basics of uh, electric circuits. The thevenin voltage, your open circuited voltage divided by, remember open circuited voltage divided by the thevenin resistance gives you the short circuit current. Fine. And uh, that is given to you here. So what is the value of that? that is 75 milliampere short circuited current of the diode is open circuited voltage by thevenin resistance open circuited voltage is given uh, here uh, rth is uh, what is the relationship voc equal to 75 into 10 power minus 13 rth and another relationship is open circuited voltage minus the drop uh, across that that is what open circuited voltage and it is the voltage across uh, the device when it is 0.6 uh, having terminal voltage of 0.6. So VOC minus 0.6 divided by RTH is nothing but 70 milliamperes. So uh, here it is more of uh, uh, basically the um, uh, network question rather than saying uh, your EDC question. But when current is 70 amperes, so you have to subtract that voltage from the open circuited voltage. So from these two relations, I can get your RTH. So you get RTH shares. Fine. So let us see the next question. The figure below, this is the figure, shows IV characteristic of a solar cell illuminated uniformly with solar light or solar light of power. 100 milliwatt per centimeter square the solar cell has area of 3 centimeters square so area is given to you the fill factor is 0.7 the maximum efficiency of the device is you have to find the maximum efficiency so now let us see the solution so from here what i get this is short circuited current 180 milliampere from the figure and open circuit voltage is 0.5 volt so I am able to get VOC and ISC. What is the input solar power? 100 milliwatt per centimeter square. Area of the cell is given. So if you want and your, so what is the fill factor? That is the maximum output divided by VOC by ISC. So the maximum output of the solar cell will be what? Fill factor multiplied by VOC into ISC. So that gives you the maximum output power, 65 milli, 63 millivolt. Input power is what? You can see it, this is 100 into this multiplied by area. So that is your input power. So maximum power is this, input power is this. So maximum efficiency is what? Maximum output by input. So that gives you the efficiency of the cell so that is p max by p in this is the 21 percent maximum efficiency 
Now let us see the next question on solar cell. For a particular intensity of incident light on a silicon PN junction solar cell, the photo current is given to you that is 25 milliampere per centimeter square. The open circuited voltage is 0.451 volt. Consider thermal voltage Vt that is 25 millivolt. If the intensity of incident light is increased 20 times, assuming that the temperature remains unchanged, the VOC will be. Now let us see the relationship. The open circuited voltage of solar cell is given by this. This is the relation we have already derived. So instead of uh, I, I will be taking current density J. So if you multiply it by uh, divided by A divided by A that is area of the junction so you get current density here. So VOC, ISC and VT is given to you <coughs> fine. So uh, here so I will be uh, taking eta is not given that is eta here that is ideality factor is not given to you. So if ideality factor is not given to us I will be taking eta equal to 1 fine. So uh, you just put this, you'll get reverse saturation current of this much value. Now the photo current of solar cell is directly proportional to intensity of light falling on it. If intensity of light is increased 20 times, then photo current will also be increased 20 times because photo current is directly proportional to intensity of light. If initial photo current is 2.5 milliampere, then photo current density after an increase of intensity by 20 times will be what? 20 into 25. To 2.5 milliampere so then you will be getting open circuit voltage so what from here what I have obtained J0 so J0 is obtained current is known to you Vt is given to you so you are able to get open circuited voltage of the diode uh, solar cell rather. Now let us see the next question the quantum efficiency uh, of a photodiode that is quantum efficiency is what ratio between the number of liberated electrons and number of incident photons is 0.75 at 830 nanometers that is the wavelength of the light. Given Planck's constant is that is given to you, charge of electron is given to you, the velocity of light in photodiode is given to you, fine. So you have to find what? Uh, for incident optical power is given to you, you find the photo current. So let us see now. The quantum efficiency of photodiode is given by what? IP, remember this relation I have already given to you that is IOP by Q divided by POP that is optical power by H nu. Fine, so what will be IOP? So from here I get Q into N Q by POP by HV. So velocity of light is given by what V is equal to C by lambda. Uh, frequency, not velocity, frequency that is uh, frequency of light is given by C by lambda where C is speed of light in the semiconductor. So uh, from here you get you, uh, C is given to you then uh, velocity, uh, wavelength is given to you so you get the optical current directly by putting that all the values in this relationship. Now let us see the next question. A solar cell of area 1 centimeter square operating at to 1 sun intensity has short circuit current of 20 milliamperes and an open circuit voltage of this much. Assuming room temperature operation, uh, room temperature uh, opera at, of operation and thermal equivalent voltage of 25 millivolt, the open circuit voltage in volts will be at this much point. So this is the, this type of question I have already discussed with you. Intensity is reduced from 1 to 0 0.2. So oh, first of all VOC is given by this, fine all these parameters are given to you, eta is not given as this ideality factor H is not given. So what would I do? I will be taking it as 1, fine. So uh, just by putting all the relations so I get I not here just like previous question I discussed. Now intensity has reduced from 1 to 0 0.2, so current will become 2.5 into 0 0.2. So oh, oh, initial current is given to you how much? Short circuited current is 20 milliampere. So it will be uh, not uh, uh, 0 
2 into 2.5 rather it will be 0 0.2 into 20 the, that was copy paste so I have corrected it now in this equation so current now is 0 0.2 into 20 I note I have already obtained this is given to you so you get open circuit voltage that's it this type of question has appeared earlier fine so th uh, these are the questions which appear in gate from solar cell so what I find solar cell is another important topic after your width of the depletion layer and junction capacitance so do take care of this topic there may be question in coming year as well so just wait for my next video for uh, more questions uh, in gate exam thank you for watching the video